Hey guys, my name is Larry and I'm the creator of Tropic Tank Mates. In this video, I welcome you to my episode number 4 for my angelfish breeding project. Alright, so since we are on the fourth episode and this will be the last episode that I will make for my angelfish breeding project, I prepare a note that will help me to cover everything that we talk about since the beginning of my episode number one till episode number Let's four. Let's start with a recap from episode number one. So episode number one, we talk about um, how I harvest my angelfish eggs from four of my breeders out of six because they spawn egg at the same day almost similar time but same day and um, that's the time that I, I I thought about why not create a YouTube video on how to do the artificial raising of angelfish egg on my own way and there you go I create this series of video so episode number two episode number two with my angelfish breeding project um, I showed you guys on what is the process of incubating the eggs without the parents. Um, I showed you the method of using a flower base, any cylinder, um, cylinder shape type of uh, container that I add metal in blue. I use RO water because I have a hard water here in Antio, California and so on and so forth. In episode number three, I showed you guys on what type of food that I use with my angel fish fry and um, when do I start feeding how often do I feed them and stuff like that so um, here in my episode number four I'm gonna show you on how I make sure that I'm raising a good quality of fish and I'm gonna show you uh, what is my process on keeping my uh, inventory in episode number four, I'm going to show you guys on how to raise a good quality angelfish and what is the reason how they become stunted or how they become a good quality fish. So before we proceed with the update and to continue my episode number four on what is my process of selecting a good quality or keeping your fish in a healthy shape to have a better quality fish. Let's start first by um, answering the question that I received with the comment section below and my, my, my Instagram direct message, my Facebook uh, private message and um, I select the most important questions and here you go, we will um, tackle one by one. First question is, where do angelfish spawn? So like I show you with my first episode, um, I remove the eggs from the tile and um, the, the process or the method that I use is using a paintbrush instead of using a turkey baster but you know anyhow um, that's the, that's gonna be the same procedure anyway but the main goal in here is removing the eggs from the piece of materials where the angelfish lay their eggs so I'm using and I preferred using tile I use tile because it's very easy to remove it or put it back on the breeding tank that I use. Like I mentioned to you guys, I'm only using 10 US gallon and it's not too big. So I need to make sure that my angelfish have enough room to swim around, especially when they're trying to mate or they're trying to spawn. So here is my tile. I got this from Home Depot, any kind of tile. I have smooth surface, I have rough surface. Whatever $2, $3 tile that I can find in Home Depot, I will take it with me. The other type of material that we can use to breed angelfish is driftwood. Um, if you can find a driftwood, you know, good enough for your breeding tank or mostly or most of the time I see that on a community tank where the angelfish decided to lay their eggs on a vertical driftwood. So if they decided to lay their eggs or spawn their eggs on a driftwood 
it's gonna be a pain in the butt because it's a community tank and normally we have a big piece of a tripod right there so if you decided that you want to breed angel fish i suggest to take out that angel fish if you are 100 percent they are breeding pair remove them put them on their own tank so they don't get stressed they don't get bothered and they will take care of their eggs and next time i suggest use a tile or any piece of material that easy to remove if you want to perform artificial raising so the other uh, material that um, angel fish use is a plant a live plant so i have experienced angel fish spawning on a leaf of anubias or a java fern but i don't like that because i end up removing or cutting the leaf from my plan and uh, next thing I know I don't have leaf anymore <laughs> so yeah um, once again I decided or I preferred using tile for my spawning material also I want to mention some of the angel fish or any type of fish that are uh, vertical laying eggs um, sometimes they also use you know the intake of your hang on the back sometimes they decided to lay their eggs on the wall of your fish tanks or breeding tank so there's a lot of ways or it depends on the mood of the angel fish breeding bird that you have they're just like humans you know they will do whatever they want to do second question is how often angel fish spawn so with my experience i see my angel fish spawn between seven to ten days and the reason behind it is because once again i'm using a piece of tile for them to lay their eggs once I remove the tile from the fish tank or from the breeding tank, um, the angel fish will have a chance to take a rest. So if I did feed them good, do some water change, and they will become happy, then seven days, there you go. They will start spawning again. So question number three. Question number three that I have in here is, what triggered the angel fish to spawn? So um, there are many reasons why the angel fish spawn or triggered to, to spawn or to lay their eggs um, one thing that I noticed is if they're spawning that means they're happy if they're spawning that means they they enjoy their time they enjoy their partner so um, if you ask me what triggers them to spawn to lay, to lay their eggs is having a, a clean water water parameters that's one thing um, I have some angel fish who um, breed in any you know any type of water parameters I have angel fish who only spawn with RO water so like I mentioned before my water here is 300 to 500 TDS and my specific angel fish only spawn if the TDS is below 120 so together with the question number four about water change, um, water changing um, a grow out tank of my angel fish, it's not too crazy. Uh, basically, it's the same with breeding pairs. But um, with my angel fish, no matter what, they are, they got, they, they were spawned on a RO water or they spawn on a top water. No matter what, once they hatch, they become wiggler, pre swimmer. I will change it with a top water. I don't use RO water in any of my grow out tanks but um, changing water um, yeah I, I vacuum I have bare bottom tank easy to vacuum I, va I take out the solid waste I remove it um, basically I change water every day about uh, 20 or 10 percent of the water depending on how bad the situation of my bare bottom and the fifth question that I receive is why I um, someone asked why I prefer doing artificial raising of angel fish instead of letting the, the breeder or the breeding pair to raise their own fry. So that, to answer that question is, my fish room is not that big. I only have eight by 10 square feet of uh, a fish room. That's why I have four la level of rack. Um, my breeding tanks is only 10, 10 gallons, 10 US gallons. So it's not too big for them to raise their fry. Um, normally angel fish um, spawn about 100, 200, or 300 um, eggs and I have normally 70-80% hatch rate. So um, I preferred using artificial method. It's because I'm a breeder. Um, a lot of people are 
purchasing my fish all over United States. Um, I ship fish with USPS or UPS all throughout you know the nation of United States. Um, people are ordering from East Coast side. I'm from the I'm I'm from the West Coast, which is California. People from the East Coast order fish for me, no problem. I ship them fish. I give a couple of extra. Um, I attend local fish um, meeting, local, local fish group meeting, and also I sell my fish cheaper, gorse and brilli fish. So whatever profit that I make, um, I keep those money to um, keep my fish room running just to pay off some of the bills. The key on having a good quality fish is to have a good quality food consistently. And one of the good quality food that I have is microworms and live baby brine shrimp. I feed my fry multiple times a day, at least five to six times, just to make sure that they're not gonna die of getting hungry. And of course, if you feed the fish a lot, that means you need to vacuum accordingly. And that's the reason why I preferred having a bare bottom tank for my grow out and breeding tanks. To avoid the fish from being stunted, um, I have different size of tank depending on the size of the fish. So what I do is I move the fish according to their size and I keep up with the water change just to continue uh, the growth of my fish. Once the fish pick up their size within a month or two, I will move them on a planted tank just to have a little less work for me. Um, if they're on a planted tank, I don't normally change the water within at least a week or two. Once the fish are large enough to eat pellets and flakes, um, I feed them with ocean nutrition products which have a higher amount of protein that will help the fish to gain their um, thickness and to grow their fins uh, in a beautiful shape. Aside from ocean nutrition products, I feed my fish different types of food like the freeze-dry food and um, other stuff just so the fish won't be picky once they move to their permanent house or permanent tank. Alright guys, so that's it for my angelfish breeding project. This is the episode 4. This will be my last episode for this um, series of um, videos about breeding angelfish. And if you have any idea or if you want something else for me to create a video, please feel free to comment down below. Let me know what type of fish, what kind of strain that you want me to show you on how to breed. Um, I'm sure that you guys are familiar with what type of what type of fish that I have in my fish room. Um, I know a lot of you watch my fish room tour and you know what type of fish that I'm breeding. So again, feel free if you want me to show you the process or the method that I use for breeding specific fish. Please feel free to comment down below and I will try my best to create a video for you. Thank you and I will see you next time.